Welcome to our shelf. Let's see what our following has for us today. What's this? A dog treat? Give me a dog treat. We got a, this isn't a real dog. We have a Zoomer, your real best friend. It's not a real dog. My okay, so we have the electronic dog Zoomer, your real best friend. Here's the box that it comes in. Recommended for ages five and up. Not recommended for ages three and under because of choking hazards. Um, here's the right side of the box, nothing special here. Here's the back of the box. It says teach me this and more. Download the app in either the App Store or the Google Play Store. Top of the box, you get a handle, bottom of the box, and the left side of the box. All right, so that's the box. Let's go ahead and get this thing open and let's see well, how easy it is to open this box up. So let me get my knife. So while I'm unboxing this item, all in all it took me about four minutes and 35 seconds. Now, what do you get in the box? Well, you obviously get Zoomer, the actual dog itself. You get a training guide. And you also get a training checklist. And you also get a USB charging cable, which is pretty neat. Why do you get the USB charging cable? Because this toy does not need batteries. It does need batteries, but it comes with a built-in rechargeable battery, which is pretty neat. And I should also mention that this toy is made by Spin Master. And the key to opening this box is you got to untie a few strings and cut a few pieces of tape, and you have it all out. Finally. Well, not exactly. I forgot to take the tape off his head and the tape off of his tail. So I had to get my knife again and finally. So let's go over some of the features of this toy. First off, it has lots of articulation and we'll show you a lot more later on when we actually demonstrate how he actually works. So as you can see right here, his waist back area has all different types of rotation, articulation, it moves around. He also moves around with the head. His ears move back and forth. Um, let's go to his tail. His tail also wags. Now let's go to the actual button. On the back of him, he has a trick button. You just press that button right there, that's the trick button. And above that is the voice sensor. And on the front of his chest, there's a USB port to charge him. Also, you can select three different languages he can respond to, English, French, and Spanish. And there's also an on-off switch. And before you play with him, the first thing you wanna do is turn him into the on position, plug the charger cable into his chest, and plug the other end into a USB charger into the wall. Or a computer. So this particular toy does lots of tricks. Just spent some time with it earlier. You actually have to train it to trick, so it doesn't just do them right off the back. Um, you have to train the commands, and after a while, it starts to recognize the commands a lot easier, and it does them uh, more accurately, more efficiently. So check it out. Here's some of the commands Jessica taught it earlier. And to get him to listen, you have to push his head down and start with Zoomer. Zoomer, sit down. Zoomer, lay down. Zoomer, look at me. Zoomer, speak. Zoomer, protect me. Zoomer, let's play. Zoomer, roll over. Zoomer, come here. Zoomer, go pee. On my phone, really? <laughs> Zoomer, let's go for a walk. Zoomer, go to sleep. Don't you wish all dogs responded to this one that easy? Zoomer, roll over. Another cool feature this toy also has is when you press the button on his back, he does a random trick for you. Now we think this toy is very cool, very realistic, very lifelike. But that's not always a good thing. There was a couple instances where we left the house, we came back, he's either watching TV 
or playing video games. There was this one time I came home and caught him watching his favorite movie, 101 Dalmatians. I think it's because he looks like a Dalmatian. He might be one. <laughs> and there was another time I came home and caught him playing the video game, SmackDown vs. Raw. Man, he gets really upset when he's about to lose. Now there is one good thing I have to say about him. He does try to get along with other dogs. But they don't always get along with him. And then there was this one instance where Jess fell asleep for a little while and he actually stole the keys to the car, went to PetSmart, and bought himself a can of food. Get out of here! What? And the cashier had the nerve to ask him, does he have a PetSmart card? Do you have a pet card for your phone? Yeah, so this is basically all surveillance footage that we got from the store manager earlier that day because Zoomer denied going to the store to buy some pet food. Okay, in all seriousness, this is a pretty cool toy and it's more than likely going to be one of the hottest toys this Christmas slash holiday season, so go ahead and grab one now. Uh, I do recommend it. It's a pretty cool toy. It doesn't always work as perfect as you might think, even when you do have it trained. It still sometimes uh, gives you the X like it doesn't understand what you're saying, but it presents kind of a challenge for kids. And if you do get this toy, make sure you download the app in the App Store for if you have an, like an Apple device or the Android Google Play Store if you have an Android device. And I should also mention, even when you're not giving him commands, he just kind of runs around the house freely and just kind of gets into stuff until he finally goes to sleep. So that's another cool feature. So that's been a review of the Zoomer toy. Thanks for watching.